Good morning or good afternoon and maybe good evening. Wherever you are around the world, we want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another NHL Player Series flashback from the Hockey Initial Life Show with your hockey coach, Guru, Coach Frenchy. Today, we talk about the career of the number 22 of the New York Islanders. Of course, Michael Bussey. Don't go nowhere. Here we go. Yes, we're going to talk about Michael Bussey. Michael was born in Montreal in the province of Quebec, January 22nd, 1957. Michael had an amazing, great career, junior, and of course, also um, in NHL. Michael played many years with the Laval and the QM. I have already a really a big impact junior. We knew at that moment he's going to have an amazing, great career in NHL. And that's why I'm going to talk today to you guys about the career of Michael Bussey. Let's dive in about him. Here we go. So we know he have a wearing the number 22. He was a 15 overall pick in 1977 by the New York Islanders. At that moment, said coach, one of the best scorer in NHL. Why the, the team select him only on the 15 overall? Because the one reason he was really, really not great on skating. He had not many, his speed was not great, and he's a little bit at work about his skating. But at the end of the day, it was not make a big difference in NHL. He became one of the best scorer uh, for many years, uh, year after year to scoring of over 50 goals per year. So let's dive in about his career. And the first thing we want to talk about is what he accomplished on York Islanders year after year. Here we go. 1977, 1978, that was his first year in NHL. He scored 53 goals, guys, at his first year. 53 goals and 73 game, and also 38 assists for 91 points. That was his first year in NHL. Of course, he won the Calder Trophy for the Rookie of the Year. And during the playoff, he had played only seven games. He had two goals, two assists for four points. Then during the second year in NHL, 1978-1979, he played also with Brent Trussi and Clark Gillies, um, his teammate as the, on the line. He played 80 games. He had 126 points right away with 69 goals. 69 goals, guys. Unbelievable. During the playoff, he played 10 games. He had 8.6 goals and 2 assists. And that's what makes him right now an uh, all-star in NHL. 1979 and 1980, he has 92 points with 51 goals, 41 assists, and 75 games. And during that year also, Islanders starting to get better as a team. They play 16 games in the playoff with 23 points and 10 goals. 1980 and 1981, there was the, the start of the dynasty for the New York Islanders. He had 119 points with 68 goals and 79 games. He won the Stanley Cup, his first of the four. Uh, and he has 35 points. Listen, guys. 35 points and 18 games during the playoff with 17 goals. It's almost one goal per game and almost two points per game. Look, unbelievable way he accomplished that year uh, with the New York Islanders. 1981-1982, the year they won the Stanley Cup back-to-back. -back. He has 147 points, 64 goals. His third season with 60 goals plus and 80 games. He has 27 points and 19 games with 17 goals again. And he won the Stanley Cup, but also won the Connie Smythe, the MVP uh, during the playoff um, with the New York Islanders. 1982-1983, 118 points, 60 goals again. This is the third straight season with 60 goals a plus in 79 games. You have 19 games and a player with 26 points. They won for the third time, back to back to back, the Stanley Cup. Then in 1983-1984, 67 games, you have 118 points again, and they have 51 goals. And during the playoff, they won for the fourth time, the Stanley Cup. 21 games with 18 points with 8 goals. 1984 and 1985, he has 117 points and 77 games with 
58 goals. He has 11 points in 10 games during the playoff. That's give him a fifth season straight with 100 points and more. 1985-1986 with the New York Islanders. He had played 80 games with 123 points. 61 goals. He had three goals, uh, three game on leads during the playoff. The New York Islanders was get out quickly of the playoff. In 1986-1987, this was his last season in the NHL. He played 63 games with 75 points, 38 goals. And during the playoff, he played six games only with five points. So, Coach, he's a machine. He has an amazing career in 10 years. He's only 30 years old. What happening? Yes, unfortunately, Michael, during his career, I have a really, really bad problem with the lower back. And that put him to stop to play hockey with only 10 years, guy, in NHL. But look, unbelievable, unbelievable, look. 53, 69, 51, 68, 64, 60, 51, 58, 61. Go, guys. He's ninth straight season with 50 gold more. And the last season, because he was problem with his back, he could not perform at the level he should be. He had only 38 gold, but he found a way to score. Again, unbelievable, Michael Bossy, guys. I cannot tell you. How much I have a lot of respect for Michael Bussey. During his career of 10 years, he has 1,126 points and 752 games, but 573 goals and 752 games. He has an average of 0.76 goals per game, the number one in the NHL history. Unbelievable what Michael. But he did what 160 points, guys, and 129 games on the playoff. Again, an extra 85 gold. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. One of the best players I did so far as a flashback for the Hockey Nation live show. Michael Bussy, underrated, should be considered one of the best, greatest hockey player, right wing in the NHL. Look, what he accomplished with the New York Islanders and, and, and also in the NHL. 10 seasons with the New York Islanders. All play with only one team, the Islanders. Seven times participate to the NHL All-Star Game. Won the Sunny Cup four times. All back to back to back to back. That's what they create one of the dynasty in NHL with the Montreal Canadiens. Won the Calder Trophy, the rookie of the trophy. Then he won also the Connie Smythe as the best player MVP during the playoff. He won three-time guy that won the Lady Bing Trophy. What is a Lady Bing? Is a gentleman on the eyes. And the one reason he was, guys, he never, never fight. In 1980s year, where the fight was a number one in hockey, never fight. He was, again, the violence. He did not like hockey, have a fight, fighter, everything like that. He never fight, guys, in 10 years. Uh, lead the Islanders for the most goal, the most hat trick, The goal, winning goal, and then on power play. He has all those records at that moment for the New York Islanders. He's a number one, like I mentioned earlier, for the goal average per game at .76. And he's a number three uh, point per game at 1.50 in NHL history. His body teammate was, of course, the captain, Brian Tracy, and the number nine, Clark Gillies. One of the, best, uh, the five players... And NHL scored 50 goals and 50 games. This is really rare in NHL. Some people accomplish this. Of course, Wayne Gretzky did it. The first one was Maurice Richard. He had nine seasons of 50 goals straight. He's the only one in NHL did it. Wayne Gretzky did it, but he did not do it with nine straight year. He was an, uh, introduced as an Hall of Famer in 1991. In 1992, March 3rd, The New York Islander retired the jersey number 22, Michael Bussey. And again, like I mentioned to you, he never fight in any shot. Finally, look, the last one, unbelievable. Look, this is all what he accomplished in any shot. I'm going to go as quick as I can, but look, this is since like 2018. He has the most consecutive 50 goal with nine. Most 50 goal season, not necessarily consecutive, nine. Tied with Wayne Gretzky. 
most a 60 goal, not necessarily because five with one Gretzky, but with one Gretzky is the only one did back to back to back to back to back. Highest goal per game average career minimum 200 game 200 goal. He has a 0.762 goal per game. Most power play goal on one playoff season nine with Cam Neely. Most conceive at trick three tie with Joe Malone who applauded accomplished just twice. And during 2017, Bussy was the part of the second group of the player to be named one of the 100 greatest NHL player in history. He also lead the league in a goal twice, 1978-1980, both now called the Rocky, the Rocket Richard Trophy. Um, he was selected list of the other official NHL rec record categories where Bussy was owns the record holder. Gold career, 21 all-time with 573. Only Mario Lemieux and Wayne Gretzky reached the 500 with fewer games. Uh, gold regular season, the playoff combined in one season. Seven all-time with 85. But look, I'm not going to read everything happening after that. You can stop the video. You can read again. You can look about all what he accomplished in his show. The only thing I will mention to you guys He's played with the Team Canada in 1981 and 1984. He had 20 points in 15 games. This is Michael Bossy. Unbelievable. We know they have so many great right wing. Guy Lafleur. That's a, one of my best idol players. But Michael Bossy was better to Guy Lafleur. On my eyes. One thing I would say to you, my dad was a scout in hockey at a high level. And it was bring me, I was really young. I was about like, what, maybe 12, 10 years old. And he would tell me every time, we're going to go to the, watch the game Laval against Shawinigan, but we have to go there at the warm-up. I would say, why, why that? Because we're going to look about Michael Bussy, watch his warm-up, his slap shot, his wrist shot, where he sent the puck. And he was always hit the net. It was always about one foot above the ice. Never top shell, never on the glass. He was always low, always low, all the time. So my dad was really, really, I admire Michael Bussy at 16 years old. When we pl he played for the Laval and the QM. And after that, we follow him a lot. Of course, he was again a Montreal Canadian. At the beginning, I did not like Michael Bussy, right? But after that, I have to admit with you, Michael Bussy was one of the best, best player in NHL history, underrated, and unfortunately had to stop to play hockey uh, after 10 years. But what is also funny about this, he was really a quiet player. No drama, really, really uh, mature, responsible, everything like that. But after his career, guys, he jumping to the many job uh, in hockey. He was represent uh, hockey stick, I, hockey equipment, he worked for fun hockey organization, never keep his job. And he jumped after that on the radio station, uh, the morning show, and he now he became analyst for many organizations, Quebec Grand Power, he did other organizations in NHL, and now he worked with the hockey stations called TVA Sport, French station. And that's what he did now for the last couple of years um, as an analyst for, the, for that station. So that's what Resume Guy an amazing, great short career of 10 years. I could not imagine myself to see Michael Bussey play 10 more years. I really believe he would be the number one scorer with the most goal in NHL history past Wayne Gretzky. And I began, I believe he would be being close to the 1,000 goal if he stayed 20 years in NHL. That's what Mike Bussey was, to be honest with you. So this concludes another NHL player flashback series from the Hockey Nation Live Show. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation on their Facebook page and on the YouTube channel. If you really enjoyed this video, first click on the likes and of course, leave your comment. Tell me what you think about Michael Bussey. Did you see him? Did you watch him? What did you see when you saw him? What it was your first comments about him? And were you first thinking? And finally, if you never see him, I ask you to go back on YouTube channel, look for Michael Bassif 
him, you can see many times he play in NHL. And of course, at the end of the day, I just want to remind you one more thing. Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great blessing day. I look forward to see you for the next video of the NHL Player Flashback Series. And bonne journée, mes amis. On se reparle un peu plus tard pour une autre vidéo de la série NHL Player Flashback avec l'entraîneur Coach Frenchie.